Hey, welcome to another episode of Dinosaur Ryan. In this video, I thought I would talk about something a little different, so let's get started. So at different times around the year, there are these special events that take place. And in a few days time, there will be a special event coming up. Hang on a minute. What's that? Okay, okay, I think I got it. Okay. Um, that was bizarre. Just got hit on the head by a meteor. That was fun. Right. Anyway, as I was saying, as you do when you get hit on the head by a meteor, um, there are these special events that take place throughout the year, and they are meteor shower events. And we're coming up to another one, or quite a big one. It's called the Germanids. And in this meteor shower, you can normally expect to see around 60 meteors per hour at its peak, which is around the 13th of December. You'll be able to see quite a lot around that date, too. Um, and the meteor shower starts off um, a few weeks before, and it will end off a few weeks after, but that is when you'll see the most meteors. But, of course, it does depend on the weather and how bright the moon is. And unfortunately for this year, it looks like it's going to be quite a bright moon that will be coming out this year but um it's something that you can bear in mind for other years if you want to see media showers and then of course there are other media showers that happen throughout the year but this is a pretty big one so i thought i would just talk about that but of course space is full of lots of rocks there's asteroids there's comets and there's meteors now the meteors that i'm talking about most of them will be about the size of a grain of sand so these massive trails of bright light are actually the, the remains of rock as small as a grain of sand being burned up. How amazing is that? Of course, though, you do get odd rocks that are about the size of cans and sometimes as large as cars that burn through the atmosphere. In fact, something that's similar to that that hit my head just a minute ago actually falls through the atmosphere about every four hours. And also, people have actually had their cars and their houses hit by meteors. And some people have actually been hit by real meteors on their head and yet survived the impact. It's absolutely crazy, but it's true. So it's something I thought I would just talk about. So, of course, it is known that it is most likely that something like an asteroid or a comet crashed into the Earth, or maybe more than one, and it did kill the dinosaurs. So it does link into other topics I talk about. But it's great to be able to see events or events throughout the year that take place that can show us that space has a huge impact on Earth. So it's just something I thought I would talk about. I hope you like it, and I hope that if you get to see any meteors, you'll have a great time looking at them. I'll be trying to film some or taking some photographs. I have tried in the past, but I have kind of failed, so um, don't expect something amazing coming up in the next few weeks, because I probably won't be able to capture anything. But, you know, it'd be fun to see if any of you guys see anything. So uh, I hope you like this, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later very soon. So I'll see you... Wait a minute. What's that? What's that? Ah!